So hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of 25 days of Dax Fridays. This is for day 22. If you don't know exactly what that is, just go down below, check the rules for entering the challenge. It's never too late so you can get started now. If you want to know how I solved day 22 or you're stuck, this is the video for you. Let's get started. So it is Human Resources Week. We're answering questions about North Wind uh, employees. And day 22, it was how many employees are 60 years old or over 60 years old, okay? So we're going to do it the same way as we've been doing all along. First with our DAX, then with DAX. And that way we also check that our results are correct. So one thing you need to take care take into account for this challenge is that it is time sensitive so depending on when you're doing this you might get higher number that what you see on this video but if you go to the website you click on it it will tell you exactly what you need to get because that updates all the time okay so let's get started you'll see you'll understand why in a second so without um tags we need to frame the problem, right? It helps us actually frame the problem. How many employees? So we need to have the employee name, employee ID. I know that the employee names are unique, so I can use the employee name, otherwise you would use employee's ID. So we have here our employee names. How many are over 60 years old? So we need to know the age. There is no age in Northwind column, so there's no column with age. We need to calculate it, right? So we need to have the birth date. And now because we say we do this without DAX, we can actually not do it in here. I exported the information to Excel. So we actually can check the solution. So here, the only thing I done is to put to today's date. This is my date for today. So when you are doing this, your date there will be completely different. Uh, so be mindful of that, okay, if you don't get the exact number. So this is my today's date. So Andrew is 69.7 years old. So I just got today, I got 365.25 to account for the leap years. And then just one minus the other divided by the year. So you give us a year number, right? And then you just go to Excel, you do number filters, greater than or equal to 60. And there are six employees over 60 years old. So remember, it might change depending on when you do the challenge, okay? So let's go to Power BI and see how we do this with DAX. Now, if you have been doing these 25 days of DAX, you have probably now have in your head that any time, because what we're going to do with DAX is the same that we did now. We're going to calculate the age of these people and then we're going to get the measure age and say if it is bigger than 60, count. But you probably know because it happened many times on this challenge that if you do that, the grand totals are going to be incorrect. So you will need two measures instead of one. Because it is day 22 and we are now professionals of these type of problems, we're not going to do the uh, two measure thing. We will go and jump right into the one measure thing. Okay? So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, do the other challenges. It, it, it will come clear to you exactly what I mean. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get this table that we created in Excel in DAX. So when we are creating tables, you know how we do it. We want to see them. So we go to Table Tools, New Table. Okay. And here we're going to create again the table that we just created. So we're going to Summarize. And then we're going to summarize which table, the Employees table. We want to have the Employee ID. And then we want to calculate age. So this is going to be a calculated column. So we're going to have two columns in this table, one for the employee ID and the other one for the age. And the age is date if the start date is the date birth date is the values, right? 
birth date and then we have today's date and then by day or by year probably we could just put year directly yeah it will round it a little bit but we don't care <laughs> we don't care okay so now we have a table with the employees and the age you remember right so now we need to get this table and on the age column we are going to filter by employees that are over 60 so we are going to copy this beauty we're going to go to our measure tables where we're collecting all the day solutions. And this is day 22. We're going to count rows. How many employees? We're going to count rows of the table that we just created. We need to filter it, right, by over 60. So we're going to filter what table? The one that we just created where age the column age not anything else age is bigger than 60 and then once you have that filtered then you go and do the count isn't it beautiful i mean dax is just wonderful when it works and when you understand it it's just <laughs> like <laughs> and we have our six employees here so Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How much are we learning? Hmm? What DAX did you use? Because probably you didn't use the same DAX as me. Put it down below and show us all, okay? How are you doing? Are you still hanging with me? I'm proud of you. You're probably learning a ton as well. So I will see you again tomorrow, day 23. We're getting close to the end.